A bullnose corner is probably the most difficult corner for a beginner. You can treat the corner as if the bullnose wasn't there and just follow the steps of doing a standard outside 90 degree corner. Or you can swing for the fences and follow the steps shown in this crown molding video. The bullnose is this rounded part. If we had a crisp corner, we would just turn the corner with two pieces. We could still do this with a bullnose corner, but there'd be a small gap to fill and we can make it look a whole lot better if we do a small transition piece. Let's look at pieces seven, eight, and nine. Piece number eight is our transition piece between seven and nine. It will just be a small pie shape piece. Typically on a 90 degree turn, we just make two 45 degree cuts. By adding in the transition piece, we have four cuts that will make this 90 degree turn, the right side of piece number seven, the right and left side of our transition piece, and the left side of piece nine. 90 degrees divided by our four cuts will give us 22 and a half degrees per cut. The next thing we need to know is where to measure to on the wall. For measuring piece seven and piece nine, we're going to be extending the molding out beyond where the radius starts. Instead of confusing you with the exact method of calculating the extended length, we're going to take a shortcut that will give us results good enough for a DIY project. Start by putting a dot on the wall where the wall starts to curve. Add a dot at the midpoint of the curve. Now put a line in the middle between these two dots. We'll write a seven below that because this is where piece seven will come out to. For the right side, we'll put another dot where the wall starts to curve and add a line in the middle between that dot and the midpoint of the curve and mark that as nine because that's where our ninth piece will come to. For piece seven and nine, we can go ahead and measure from the wall to our marks to get the length for those pieces. Here's the equation for determining the length of the transition piece. You can memorize it, or just remember that the length at the bottom of the transition piece should be 83% of the radius. So on a three quarter inch radius like this, the transition piece should be about five eighths of an inch. For a one inch radius, it would be about 13 sixteenths of an inch. Now, that's enough fun with math. Let's get these three pieces cut. We're going to use the leftover piece from our very first cut to create piece number seven. The left side of the piece is going into a 90 degree corner, so we're going to slide the saw over to the left 45 degree miter angle and make our cut. Now we need to cut the right side. If you remember, the cuts going around that bull nose are all going to be set at 22 and a half degrees. We also have to remember that this is an outside corner and not an inside corner. When cutting an inside corner, the bottom of your molding will always be longer than the top, like we just did on the left side of this piece. When cutting an outside corner, it is the top that will always be longer. Either way, the measurement that we take from the room and mark for our cut will be at the bottom of the molding. For the right side, we're still going to position the piece in the saw the same way we would for an inside corner. But for the angle, we're going to move it to the left miter angle of 22 and a half degrees. Okay, as you can see, the top of the molding is longer on the right side, which is what we need for doing an outside corner. Now let's go ahead and cut our transition piece. This is probably the most difficult cut of the day because it's so small. We can use any scrap piece that we haven't designated for another part of our project. The larger, the better. We're going to start on the right side of the molding by moving the saw to the left to 22 and a half degree angle and make our cut. We'll then mark the molding with our 5 8 inch measurement at the bottom. Even though our transition piece is small, the reason why we selected a decent sized scrap piece for this is that we want to keep all 10 of our fingers. We're actually going to hold on to the part of the molding we're going to be removing. Then slide our miter saw to the right 22 and a half degree angle and cut off our transition piece. The transition piece should look just like this, a small pie shape. On our last piece for this section, the right side is going into an inside 90 degree corner and the left side is going to be at the outside bullnose corner. Starting with the right side, we're going to move the saw to the right 45 degree miter angle 
10, we'll make our cut. For the left side of the piece, we transfer our measurement onto the bottom of the molding and then set the miter angle to the right at 22 and a half degrees. Then we make our cut. This will make our top of the molding longer than the bottom, which is what we want. We're going to start by nailing piece seven on the left side. We'll leave the right side free so we have room to adjust it when we connect our transition piece. We'll nail up our transition piece in just a moment. But first what we did was put some adhesive on the sides where it will meet up with pieces seven and nine. We also put some adhesive on top. We add adhesive on our ninth piece and put it in place. Once everything lines up, we can go ahead and secure all of piece nine, the transition piece, and the right side of piece seven with nails. And our corner is complete. <laughs> 